let's talk about event delegation in this video so for that i have created one simple web page where i have a list of elements okay and in each row we have a button if you click on the button an alert is generated so what we're doing here is in the button i have added one click handler and in a handler we are just putting an alert so this is one of the simplest code you have ever seen let's do one thing this is a list right so we need multiple items multiple rows so i'm just gonna repeat this li element and check we have four buttons and in each button if you click uh, we are calling the same handler and an alert is generated but can you see one problem here here we're repeating these handlers we are touching multiple listeners in multiple dom elements and that is not very performant because browser has to maintain all these listeners so instead of doing this what we can do is we can move this event handler to its parent element so if we move the event handler in the evil it will work in the same way so i'm just going to remove this event handler from here the ul element i'm going to put it now if i click on the button it still works so how is it working what happens is when you click on the button an event is generated and that event moves upward it goes to it propagates to this li element and then from li element to eval element and then we are handling it right and even after handling it it propagates up to its parent and finally reaches to the root element that is the document object and this pattern is called event delegation all right let's go a little bit deeper suppose you want your second element second button to behave in a different way so actually i want to override this event handler and we don't want to call this even parent event handler and i want to add one more event handler here okay so let's add that on click i want to call it second button so it is second button handler i'm calling it with event and here i'm going to write one function called second button here also i'll write one simple alert called second button now if i click on the first button it's fine it's only clicked and if i click on second button we are getting the alert of second button then another click event is there here what is happening is when you click on the second button this handler is called then even propagates up okay it bubbles up and reaches its parent element ul and there also it finds one event listener and that is executed but we don't want that we want we want to stop the bubbling event bubbling okay so what we can do is we can just call event so in this second button this is the first uh, listener that is called right so here we get this event we want to stop the propagation we can just call stop propagation okay now see if i call the button second button only one alert is coming the first element is working as is so this is one useful function to remember whenever you want to stop the event bubbling then just call stop propagation okay now that you have one single event handler uh, we might have one problem when we click on the button how will we know which button is clicked so here in this case uh, all buttons are similar so just add one attribute okay data id i'm adding one attribute data id maybe this is one second one is two third one is three now how will you find out which button is clicked because we have only one single handler so that is when you need to use the event object so event object has a target attribute in event.target we will have the button element we can call get attribute and data id to access the data element in this case this one two and three instead of alerting a, a simple string i will just mm, alert this data id now if i click on the button you can see this is two this is one and this is three okay so it's very simple just call event.target to find out the source of the event okay in this case this button element we need to check one more thing here uh, suppose in this button in the third button we have a logo we have one image okay let's give some height 
okay we have a logo here if i click on the logo you can see that we are printing null but if i click on the button we are printing three this is because this even the target is pointing to the image element if you click on the image okay but we don't want that so this is a very common scenario that when you click on the image it doesn't work okay how to handle that to handle this problem uh, we can use one function called closest if I use closest button then what happens is when you click on the image it tries to find out the closest button element so this is one series selector uh, instead of button you can use a class name like mm, suppose you have a class called button you can use dot button now if I try this if I click on the image it works it finds out the closest button element and then use that if I click on the button it works if I click on the image then also it works and also it works for uh, simple plain buttons so this is all about event delegation uh, if you have any more question please ask me in the comment section and I'd be happy to answer those thanks a lot for watching